how do you navigate through LinkedIn Recruiter? I'll show you. Welcome to the Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your Millionaire Recruiter. And if you haven't yet seen this channel, what it is all about is making you the next Millionaire Recruiter. So let's have some fun today and don't forget to watch every Thursday at noon. Go check out themillionairerecruiter.com. Tell me all about it. Watch that first module. All right, so today you have a real treat because you have the pleasure of being with one of my most favorite success partners in crime, Ben Markowitz. And what is he going to do? He is going to tell you all about how to navigate through LinkedIn Recruiter. Now, if you're not yet a recruiter, you have no idea about LinkedIn Recruiter. You don't know how to navigate it. You don't know how to use it to the best of your ability. This is going to, there's all these different chapters on it. So we're just going to keep it a little short just so you kind of grasp what it is. So you go have fun with that and I'll see you in just a little bit. All right. Thanks, Brianna. Hey everyone, we're gonna go over LinkedIn Recruiter right now. So if you haven't used it yet or gotten too familiar with it, I'm gonna walk you through all the different features and kind of go through the dashboard and all the key uh, elements that you wanna be using on your day-to-day uh, -day activities. So when you, when you start, uh, say you just started a job at a new recruiting agency or you're just getting into it, for the first time, LinkedIn Recruiter is a special version that the that your company will have for you so that you can do big searches and basically send messages to any candidate you want that, that you find for a particular job that you're looking for. So if we follow along uh, on my screen right now, this is our regular LinkedIn home screen and we're gonna go over to the top corner and go to the recruiter version. So this is what the dashboard looks like. And let's just go through all the different buttons uh, just so you can get familiar with it uh, for when you're getting ready to use it. So over here we have um, projects. When you're going through a candidate search, you're going to want to put certain people into different projects so that you can come back to those projects and message them every few months or every few weeks uh, and also depending on if you get new um, job descriptions or, or new clients that you want to send to particular candidates you can place these people that you're looking at into projects so that you can come back to them later depending on their skill sets or experience they have that's how you'll differentiate all your different uh, candidates. For here is your clipboard. So the clipboard uh, is basically just a space, a holding space for profiles. It lets you review and store profiles before moving them into your project folders. So it's like kind of like a copy and paste clipboard uh, type of thing. Um, so it allows you to store up to 50 profiles at one time and you can um, do different actions with them, like export them into a PDF file. You can send a bulk in-mail to everyone in your clipboard. And then, um, like I mentioned, you will you can add the people in your clipboard to your projects where they'll be in a more permanent location. All right, so now moving over to the jobs uh, button. This is only going to be used if your employer or your company uh, chooses to use this feature. So sometimes a way that they'll attract candidates is by paying LinkedIn to post a job for maybe a, a certain client um, that you are hiring for. If your company is using that, then you'll come here to post jobs, manage them. Now, moving over to this reports section, um, this is, you're not going to use a lot of this except for in-mail analytics. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown though, uh, recruiter usage 
this is if you're your company or the admins in your company this is how they will view um, their employees metrics and how and just see how all the recruiters are doing in that company so you won't have access to this um, unless you're recruiting on your own or you know you signed up for LinkedIn recruiter for yourself because if, if you're a consultant um, same with performance summary um, this is also for your administrators um, to see how um, their employee metrics are doing uh, so you won't have access to that as well um, pipeline analytics is a very brief overview you won't get too much information out of this if this is just to show basically everyone you've contacted people you've uh, marked as future prospects people that have declined messages and things like that so you won't really come to this too often either um, and then down here job analytics that's again if your company is posting jobs over here so that's where you'll see um, how the job rec is doing and you'll see analytics like how many people are clicking through to the job how many people are viewing it and applying for that job so probably won't use that too much now what we do want to look at is in mail analytics all right so the in-mail analytics is probably the most important feature in reports and probably the only one that you need to pay attention to at least in the beginning. This shows how all of your different in-mails are performing. So you should, if you haven't already when you first start, you should have created a bunch of different in-mail templates for all the different jobs or clients that you're working with. You definitely don't want to just be sending one message, the same template out to every candidate. Why? Because you want to experiment with different strategies and see which messages are working and which ones aren't so that you can keep adjusting and just work to that more efficient rate of sending out messages and getting a high percentage of responses. So you always want to be customizing um, and altering uh, your templates. So you, say, for example, you want to try out messages that are longer versus ones that are shorter, um, adding different subject lines to different templates, maybe trying to add some humor to certain messages to grab people's attention. But you want to be doing a bunch of different things and seeing which ones get the best response rates so that you can use those more. So if I'm going down here, I can see my response rate, see how many messages I've sent, and then let's just go down here and click on templates. And this is for all the templates that I've created um, and that I'm sending out to candidates. So I have, these are all the templates I've named just for different clients that I'm working with. I have response rates, which is probably the, the most useful tool. I can see that for the month of July, I've sent you know 83 messages, only gotten three responses, low response rate. I can see that this this template is you know working the best. You know, I've only sent out 18, but eight responded, so I, that's a really high percentage. So I want to probably increase sending this message so I can get a lot more responses. So this is just a great way to see which things are working and where you should put your focus on. Moving on um, back up, you know, to the dashboard. Let's just go back to the home page. You have a few more buttons uh, in here that you aren't really going to use too much. Um, the campaigns is an additional tool that your company would have to pay extra for. Um, we personally don't use it over here at Techies and you know MillionaireRecruiter.com. We um, just haven't found it to be necessary, um, but you know it differs for different recruiting agencies and what works for them. It's basically just a pipeline builder um, and it uses paid ads to get traffic. Uh, for qualified leads so it's an extra uh, cost that you pay onto LinkedIn recruiter um, reviews uh, has to do with that pipeline builder as well um, import candidates you may use this if you are um, 
getting a list of resumes or you know candidates that you want to import from you know Excel spreadsheets or you know maybe a client is giving you some prospects. Um, that's a way you can just bring everything over into Recruiter and put on projects, but probably won't use it too much either. All right, now moving over to some of the uh, more important stuff from your for your day to day work. Uh, your inbox, obviously, you're going to want to know how to navigate that. Let's just look in here. This is where you'll get, you know, all your messages incoming. You can respond right in here and it, you know, puts it in a chat form so you can go through. Make sure you've answered everyone, you know. Another um, great tool is your notifications tab. This is where you'll get push notifications. For, pe for new people that pop up in save searches that you created, it'll pop up uh, for people that come up in projects that you've made and also for first connections. So every time a new candidate comes up for any of those three things, it'll it'll notify you right here, like, like this person for example. He chose to put his profile as open to new opportunities. So he's saying, I want recruiters to reach out to me for new roles, and he came up in this project. So I can just really easily click on his profile and send him a quick message, you know, for something that will be relevant to him. So it's just kind of a really easy shortcut tool um, to do some, some quick messaging for very warm leads. All right, and then here you have a to-do list which is a great kind of reminders tool that you can use. So let's say you're going through a search, you know, let's say I come across a profile and he looks really good. I'll send him a message, you know, send in mail here, but then afterwards, I wanna make sure I keep following up this with this person. So I can add a note for myself I can also add a reminder to follow up. So I can say, I want to follow up with him in one month. So let's just say, um, follow up, send a new opportunity that we might have. And I'll just add a note, click on one month, and then LinkedIn will remind me in one month via uh, the to-do list. So everyone i have on this list are people that i've marked as a note to follow up with so then i can just easily click go through everyone's profile and follow up with them all right so those are all the different um, features that linkedin recruiter has aside from the main thing that you'll do on linkedin recruiter which is your candidate search so you can do uh, one of two things, you can do a quick candidate search in this bar just by, uh, you know, job title or keyword. So let's say I want to do, you know, Ruby on Rails, just a quick search. I'll plug that in and it'll give me a very broad search that you can always uh, tailor down um, with all these different filters here. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, you can just start off the bat with an advanced search and manually just go through and fill out all the different um, forms, you know, to depending on what your client is looking for. So, you know, this is what the search will look like right off the bat. And, you know, and as you're going through these candidates, you wanna make sure to be adding notes, saving them to projects and sending them templates that you've created um, that are gonna be the best fit for your, for your clients. All right, so those are the basics of LinkedIn Recruiter. Uh, once again, let us know if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment. We'll be happy to reach out and talk further. And we do go much more in depth on LinkedIn Recruiter in our e-course at themillionairerecruiter.com. We do a full on advanced search and tell you exactly you know what you should be doing with those profiles and how to get the best response rate from them. So I'm gonna bring it back over to Brianna and I will see you guys soon. All right, 
How much fun did you just have with Ben? He was showing you all this awesome stuff on how to navigate through LinkedIn Recruiter. So if you are not a recruiter already, your mind was probably blown with the capabilities that you will have through that tool. And if you're already a recruiter, I'm sure you've learned at least one thing, which means this video was absolutely worth it. So make sure you like, subscribe, ask as many questions as you want. I notice a lot of you do connect with me on LinkedIn, which is super cool, but you ask through email and LinkedIn. A lot of people have the same questions, the same concerns, the same who knows, but let's do that on YouTube, share the love, and I will definitely see you every single Thursday at noon. And don't forget, money is the vessel that will let you live life the way you wanna live it. So let's make some more money and live.